The number of values of x in 0, 2 pi, where f of x is tan x plus cot x by 2 minus mod of tan x minus cot x by 2 is continuous but not derivable is option A 3, option B 4, option C 0 and option D 1. Look at this dear students, number of values of x in 0, 2 pi, what is f of x? f of x is given by, f of x is given by tan x, tan x plus cot x divided by 2 minus modulus of tan x, tan x minus cot x divided by 2. So this is what f of x is. Tan x minus cot x divided by 2. See here, tan x, tan x minus cot x divided by 2 under modulus is equal to tan x minus cot x by 2, tan x minus cot x divided by 2 if tan x greater than cot x. If tan x greater than cot x, it is tan x minus cot x divided by 2. And that is equal to, that is equal to the reverse of this. That means to say cot x minus tan x divided by 2 if, if cot x is greater than tan x. I hope you have understood this. Now, what is f of x? What is f of x? f of x is given by f of x is given by tan x plus cot x by 2 tan x plus cot x by 2 divided by 2 minus minus tan x minus cot x by 2 tan x minus cot x by 2 when when tan x is greater than cot x whenever tan x is greater than cot x Otherwise, it is the reverse. That means to say, f of x is equal to f of x is equal to tan x plus cot x by 2 minus cot x minus tan x by 2 if t is less than c. That is, tan x is less than cot x. I think it is understood to you. Now, let us rewrite this. That is, you can see here. Now, what is f of x? f of x, if you add both, what you will get? Tan x plus cot x by 2 minus tan x minus cot x by 2. So, you will get tan x, tan x, cot x, you will get cot x. f of x is equal to cot x when, whenever tan x is greater than cot x f of x is equal to cot x if tan x is greater than cot x. And similarly, f of x, f of x is equal to tan x, tan x. Otherwise also you can say, or you can say, if tan x is less than cot x or cot x is greater than tan x, they are one and the same. So, with this knowledge, you can easily analyze number of points of non-derivability so that is, now let us draw the graph of tan x cot x in one line or one rectangular Cartesian system and analyze. Look at this. You are asked to draw the graph of tan x and cot x together. But however, however, the points should be between 0 and 2 pi only. This is 2 pi. Half of that is pi. This is 3 pi by 2, this is pi by 2. Now, this is pi by 2, this is pi, this is 3 pi by 2, this is 2 pi. So now, 
the tan x is a graph which is like this. Tan x is a graph like this. y is equal to x by 2 is a asymptote to this. Once again, y is equal to 3x by 2 is an asymptote to this. And y is equal to 5x by 2 is an asymptote to this. So, that is the graph of tan x. So, how will be the graph of cortex is a question. The graph of cortex is like this. So, cot x is equal to 0 is an asymptote and x is equal to pi is the next asymptote like this. Again, the graph continues like this. This is cortex. The first one is this is tan x, this is tan x and this part is cortex. Now, f of x is equal to cortex when tan x is greater than cortex. Observe carefully when tan x is greater than cortex. You can see here whenever you can see this pink color line is above green color line tan x is greater than cortex. When tan x is greater than cortex retain cortex that is when tan x is greater than cortex retain cortex. So that means to say I should retain this tan x is greater than cortex so I am retaining this till when see till here tan x is greater than cortex f of x is cortex if tan x is greater than cortex this is tan x this is cortex tan x is greater than cortex therefore retain cortex so i have retained cortex again from pi by 2 up to 3 pi by 4 so what happens once again you can see this is this is what this is cortex and this is tan x so i have to retain cortex again because tan x so in this case you can see here tan x is less than cortex this is tan x tan x tan x is less than cortex whenever tan x is less than cortex write tan x so i should write tan x is less than cortex write tan x tan x is less than cortex write tan x now again here tan x is greater than cortex whenever tan x is greater than cortex write cortex see here the graph continues right the same thing i can replicate here because it is periodic function right and then one of course this should be here the graph of f of x is equal to cortex when tan x greater than cortex must be like this so this is the graph of f of x is equal to tan x when tan x greater than cortex so number of points of non derivative ability is 1 2 3 4 therefore number of points are 4 option b is correct f of x is equal to mod of x plus 1 plus mod x plus mod of x minus 1 for all x belongs to R is not differentiable at a dash that is option A 3 points, option B 2 points, option C 1 point and option D 4 points. This problem can be solved using standard method, but let us use graphical approach to solve this. Now you can see here, first let us draw each of these graphs. First graph is, first graph is 
mod of x plus 1. Mod of x plus 1 is a graph which has got vertex is equal to minus 1. The graph of mod of x plus 1 is clearly like this. This is mod of x plus 1. This is mod of x plus 1 where x is equal to minus 1 is the vertex of this. The second important graph is y is equal to mod x. y is equal to mod x is a graph like this where vertex, vertex is at origin. And the third one is y is equal to mod of x minus 1. The third graph is y is equal to mod of x minus 1. The graph of mod of x minus 1 is like this okay before concluding you should know few basic things that is this part is y is equal to x plus 1 what about this y is equal to minus of x plus 1 what about the second one this is y is equal to x and this is y is equal to minus x what about the third one this is y is equal to x minus 1 and this is y is equal to 1 minus x or minus of x minus 1. Now the final graph is the addition of all. Now to find out that you should have to divide the graph into three particular parts. One is for the values of x less than minus 1, this point is minus 1. For the values of x less than minus 1, for the values of x lying between minus 1 and 0, for the values of x greater than 1. So we are dividing the entire part into three different parts and we are discussing that. If x is, if x is less than minus 1, what happens? If x is less than minus 1, mod of x plus 1, mod of x plus 1 will be, of course, f of x will be mod of x plus 1 that is minus of x plus 1 see this this is minus of x plus 1 and this graph continues as it is it is minus x and this graph is 1 minus x this is minus x this is minus x and this is plus of 1 minus x i think you have understood this so now what is that equal to minus x minus x minus x minus 2x minus 6 minus x minus x minus 3x minus 3x this is minus 1 this is plus 1 that is equal to 0 that is equal to minus 3x that is equal to minus 3x that is equal to minus 3x so f of x is minus 3x f of x is minus 3x see here f of x is minus 3x when when x is less than minus 1 when x is less than minus 1, f of x is minus 3x. This is very, very, very important logic. f of x is minus 3x. 